Hey, my name is Serious Gamer. Welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale Minecraft United States Battleship tutorial. Today I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the USS Nevada BB36 as she appeared on the on the 7th of December 1941. Now to start off, this is my design. So if you decide to build her, I suggest you give me credit. There's like a couple signs here and there. So plenty of places to credit me. But um Yeah, also, if you enjoy this video and love and like to see more of what I have built, then uh consider subscribing so you can get uh updates on more ships just like this and more. But anyway, let's just get into this. USS Nevada BB-36 was the third United States Navy ship to be named after the 36th state. It uh, was the lead ship of two Nevada-class battleships. Launched in 1914, Nevada was a leap forward in dreadnought technology. Four of her new features would be included would be included on almost every subsequent U.S. battleship. Uh, triple gun turrets, oil place. Oil in place of coal for fuel, geared steam turbines for greater range, and the all-or-nothing armor principle. These features made Nevada, alongside her sister Oklahoma, the first U.S. Navy standard-type battleship. Nevada was, in bo was served in both World Wars. During the last few months of World War I, Nevada was in Bantry Bay, Ireland, to protect uh, supply convoys that were sailing from Great Britain in World War One. No. In World War One, she was one of the battleships trapped uh, in World War Two, Jap uh, she was one of the battleships trapped when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Nevada was the only battleship to get away during the attack, making the only making uh, the ship the only bright spot in an otherwise dismal and depressing morning for the United States. Still, the ship was hit by one torpedo and at least six bombs while steaming away from Battleship Row, forcing her crew to beach the stricken ship on a coral on a coral ledge. Um, on a coral ledge, the ship continued to flood, and eventually slid off the ledge and sank into the harbor floor. Nevada was subsequently salvaged and modernized in Puget uh, Sound Navy Yard, allowing her to serve as a convoy escort in the Atlantic, as a fire support ship uh, in five amphibious assaults. The invasions of Atu, Normandy, southern France, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. At the end of World War II, the Navy decided that due to age, Nevada would not be retained as part of the active fleet, and she was instead assigned as a target ship for the uh, atomic experiments at Bikini Atoll in July of 1946. Operation Crossbow. The ship was hit by was hit by the blast from the atomic able from the atomic bomb able and is left heavily damaged and radioactive. On fit for further service, Nevada was decommissioned on the 29th of August 1946 and sunk for naval gunfire practice on the 31st of July 1948. So, pretty interesting ship. If I remember correctly, she's the only ship present at Pearl Harbor to serve in both the Atlantic and Pacific theaters during the Second World War. Um, anyway, if you decide to build this ship in the water, um, you're going to want to start her on the second block underwater, and then everything from layer 3 up will be above water. Anyway, let's just get into this. I am tired. Alright, starting off with layer 1. You want a brick top slab. And then a forward facing brick stair in the center. And then you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for terracotta. On the back, you want 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, brick top slabs. And then one, two, three, four for terracotta. And then you want further one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red terracotta with brick top slabs. On the end of them, just like this. And then you want two more red terracotta, and then three, four brick slabs coming off of it. You want to go behind it. On the end, you want one, two, three uh, end rods and a skeleton skull. Now go in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red terracotta, a brick slab, and then two brick walls. And then once you copy that to the other side, you should have something that looks like this from above. That is too tall. Anyway. Now that we have layer one done, moving on into layer two. Alright, moving on into layer two. Uh, you want to start off by putting a brick stair on top of the previous brick slab on the bottom. You want one, two, three red terracotta. You want to go diagonally. You want one, two, three, four, five, and six red terracotta. Two brick slabs. Okay. And you want one, two red terracotta. And further one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red terracotta. With red, with red stained glass panels on the side. And then you want one, two, three red terracotta with one, two, three uh, brick top slabs. You want to go inside, you want one, two, one, two, three, four, five red terracotta with two brick top slabs. On the end. And then you want one, two, red terracotta on the center, brick stair, and then two brick slabs after it, just like that. And then once you copy that to the other side, you should have something that looks just like that from above. Alright. And with that, we're going to move on to our last completely on and off um, layer, layer three. Alright, moving on into layer 3. We want to place a polished deep slate wall on top of the previous brick stair. You want two cyan terracotta. You want to go diagonally with one, two, three, four cyan terracotta. And then a polished deep slate stair with a polished deep slate slab in front of it, just like so. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Cyan terracotta with a backwards facing upside down stair on the back of it. You want to go in, you want 1, 2, 3, and 4. Cyan terracotta. Polished deep slit stair on the back. And you want to go in the center. Cyan terracotta. And then polished deep slit stair. You want to go to the, uh, the stair right here. You want to skip a space. You want one, two, five, five. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, gray stained glass panels. And you want one and two more dark oak signs. And then going to the back. You want to fill in until about halfway ish, just like that. All right, moving on to layer four. You want to place a polished deep slate stair on top of the wall. Then you want cyan terracotta behind it, and a polished deep slate slab on the side. You want one, two, three, four, five, and six cyan terracotta with one, two, three gray stained glass panels on the side, just like that. And you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
Cyan Terracotta and a Pulse Deep Slate Stair. Go block back, you want Pulse Deep Slate Wall and a stained glass panel in front of it, and then two Cyan Terracotta in the centerpiece, just like that. And then once you want once you finish that, you want to fill in the deck. And then you want just cover the focal in button. And on the front you want two wither skeleton skulls. And place them on either side of the hull up front, just like that. Alright. Moving on into the aft part of the ship, you want to place a skeleton skull on the cyan terracotta right here, and then one on the floor to either side, just like that. And then you want cyan terracotta, two of them in front of the skull, and then two uh, glass panels on either side. Then you want to build a gun, which is a deep slate upside down, uh, an upside down backward facing deep slate stair, a deep slate uh, brick block, and a deep slate uh, brick stair. Two dark oak fences in front of it, open forward, and then with a skeleton skull on either side of the stair in the back, just like so. I'm gonna place. A skeleton skull to the left, no, to the right of the gun, and then we're gonna get out your iron trap doors. And you want one, two iron trap doors go in, you want a polished deep slice lab, and then a iron trap door, just like that. Go to the back of the ship, and we're just going to build the seaplane uh, crane in the back, just like this. So you want a wall, and then polish deep slate slab. Put another one on top, and then branch out, break the one that you placed on top. And then you want an end rod on top of the wall. You want to get out. Dark oak trap doors. You want to place one on the edge of this um, end rod. On the and you want to place one on top of the stair, the slab on in front of it. And then you want a dark oak fence gate branching off of the slab right here. And then it does it for the crane. Moving on into layers. To our last, honestly, for the superstructures on these, I can say the last couple layers because there aren't really that many. Um, so you want end rods, two end rods in the front, so we're on level one, um, layer five. So you want two end rods on the front, just like that, so we don't forget about them. Dark oak trap door. Polish black gun button, dark oak, trap door. Two dark oak. Fence gets open forward, and before we move on, hang on, we'll get out. Dark oak pressure plates. And then fill them in around the deck in the back.
And then what? Let's go behind these dark oak fence gates. Place a deep slate brick stair. Deep slate bricks. Deep slate brick stair on the back. Upside down. And then just like the gun on the back with a skeleton skull to the other side in the front. Now up here you want two cyan terracotta, first one with a grey stained glass panel, and a polished deep split wall, and then a cyan terracotta, Oh yeah, this part's always really weird. Anyway, you want a side-facing polished deep plate there, sign terracotta, and then you want to move out to the side of the ship, polished, polished uh, deep slate stair, sign terracotta, stair, sign terracotta, stair, you want to go in. I messed something up. Oh yeah. What you want to do is actually move everything in the back forward by a block because I messed this up. Oh, yeah, I know, I'm not supposed to mess anything up that I did, and y'all are just gonna have to deal with it. There we go. Then you want to go back to the sides. You want to sign terracotta to go in. Polish deep split stair. And then a wall. Top of the previous wall and a stained glass panel. Two sign terracotta blocks in the center. And then the dark oak post on top of the stair. You want to take your end rods and place them on the stairs, facing out, just like that. And then you want to fill cover the rest of the deck in oak. Pressure plate on the side. And then you want to copy that to the other side.
and then you want to fill in the, the gun deck just like this. Alright, and on the back, you want to I'm gonna build another gun. So you wanna get out. And then just like that, you have layer 5. <coughs> Complete. Alright, so moving on. Into layer 6, you want to go to the front. Go to the front here. And you want to place... I'm gonna build another gun so that we're done with all ten of her guns. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And you want a polished deep slate block. Let's go to the other side. And you want cyan terracotta. Uh, gray stained glass panel to the other side. Cyan terracotta. False deep slate wall to the other side. With skeleton skulls on the far sides of the gun deck. Dark oak fence gate. You want to place a couple skulls on the sides of it. And then smooth quartz slabs to either side, like that. Then you want to place. Skull in the center, dark oak fence gates to either side, just like that, and then smooth court stairs oh, facing out to either side, just like that. In the center, you want a deep slate brick block, and then levers on either side opened towards it. Behind it, you want a lever facing back, and then skull to skull on other side facing out. Okay. This layer is confusing. Um Okay, hold on. So you want a quick slap in the middle. Side. Then you want another, in the center, another smooth foot slab in the center. Dark fence post and 
dark oak front gate on either side. And then you want mm, dark oak fence posts on top of the previous ones and the uh, on the back. And then, as matter of fact, there you want to take our dark oak trap doors, place them uh, on the sides of the glass, so that now you can place some skulls on them, and then dark oak fence post in the center. And on the back you want one, two, three, four dark oak trap doors on the gun turret right here. And you want to place an item frame on the front of this fence post. Okay, continuing on, you want to go to the front, you want a cyan terracotta with a birch sign on the front, and then skeleton skulls to either side. You want another cyan terracotta on the side, uh, in the center with polished deep slate stairs to either side. And then with the skeleton skulls on the back with a tall deep slate stair on the back. And then dark oak fence gates on top, fence posts on top of the previous ones. You want to place another deep slate brick on top of the previous. And then skeleton skulls on the other side. You really want to take the vacant deck area and then place doors, just like that. You will place ender rods on these skulls and then dark oak uh, fence gates just like that as a uh, continuation of the cranes here and then you will place end rods on top of the fence post uh, on force that don't connect to the um, trap the uh, fence gates. Then you will place another fence post on top of the previous. And that does it for our main bits of the superstructure. We're going to move into our last couple layers. So one, two. Three, four, and five. The last five layers. Going to the front, you want to get. I'm going to put a polished deep slate slab on top of the. Sign terracotta, and then you want to place a skeleton skull on the front of it, just like that. You want a dark oak fence gate in the center, and then a dark oak fence gate. Behind it, open backwards. You want to place a polished deep slate slab on top of the column of two deep slate bricks. Uh, deep slate bricks. Then you want monster spawner. Not a monster spawner. Um, okay. Both fence, fence post on top of the dark oak fence post. Then you want the birch fence gate. Open forward. And you want item frame on the front fence post. Clock. You want a smooth quartz block on top of the fence post and the diorite wall to either side. You want to place an iron trap door on the top and then 
skeleton skull behind it. So I want two end rods coming off of the skeleton skull on either side, and then one, two on the top. And on the very top, you want two end rods coming off the top end rod just like that. Then we'll go to the back. You want dark oak fence post. And then dark oak fence gate at the back. And then birch fence post on top of the dark oak. And then birch fence gate opened in. You're going to place another smooth quartz slab at the dire wall on either side. The birch fence gate in the center with the end rods on either side. I'm using a skull to keep the fence rods in the air. And just like that. And then you want to crotch. Place two end rods on top, on the other side of the top end rod, and then smooth quartz slab on top of the previous, uh, on top of the block, with a skeleton skull on the front of it, and then you want to place an item frame on the front of the um, observation tower, just like that. You can also place one on top of the... Uh, I'm going to start the first one, but that looks weird, <laughs> since there's one uh, under it, so you can place a birch sign on the front of it. And then that does it for my design of the USS Nevada BB-36 United States Standard Type Battleship. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and uh, let me know down below what else you'd like uh, to see me build and tutorial. But, um, yeah, if, if you, uh, enjoyed, I, I hope you had as much fun doing this as I did, and, um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, my name, uh, I probably won't, <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day, 